Hello, my name is Jamie, and today we're going to talk about adding images to GitHub Gist files. The first thing as a prerequisite you need is you have to have a GitHub account, and you go to gist.github.com. We're going to make a new GitHub Gist. Here we go. To note what defines the ability to add images is the actual file type indicated in the name of the file. We're going to create a new gist. And I'm going to call it test image.md. That changed some of the settings here. So now we have the ability to write markdown. And we'll make a bulleted list just as to show you what's going on here. So there's our preview. There's a couple ways to add images. And the, the first one I'll show you that doesn't work is uh, just doing a straight drag and drop. That may, I, I've seen it from time to time where it'll add it as this, it was doing this add file operation. And this isn't going to work either. File name excluding extension. What does that do? Yeah. Anyways, as is, embedding files this way isn't what you want. Well, at least for this demo, it's not what you want because these are now separate. These are now separate entries from each other. No, what I'm talking about is actually embedding images directly inside of the markdown. To do that, there's a couple different ways. The first way is attach files by selecting or pasting them. Here we're going to uh, select that button right down here. It's not obvious, but attach files by selecting or pasting them. We'll navigate to where we have some images. In this case, this will work just fine. So here's CAD query logo.dark. And let's add that. Bam. So what that did is it basically uploaded the images and then hosted it via this location, this URL. If we go to preview, here's our image. That's one way to get an image in here, and it tends to work the best for doing like SVG images. Um, the, this other way I'm going to talk about, which is pasting them, uh, doesn't seem to work at all for SVG images. All right, so we'll put a spacer in there. Next, we'll grab an image, in this case, a PNG image. I'm going to copy this, and then here we're going to paste it. And it didn't give me the option. Fascinating. There we go. Same deal. What that did was effectively uploaded the image and then select it off. More or less, I'm assuming a CDN in order to store this content delivery network. This is the uh, image syntax. And this bit within the um, parentheses is the location, the URL where you're going to grab the image from. That can be externally hosted as well. It doesn't have to be on GitHub. And then the bit between the square braces here is alt text. I believe it's the alt text. It's the text that should be displayed when uh, the image isn't able to load. And if I hover over this guy, let's, let's infer that. Is it really the alt text? Um, image, yes, it's the alt text right there. So it's the, what's dumped into the alt tag on the HTML. Okay. And that should do it. And so as far as that goes, just for adding multiple images, I don't know if that'll work. Nope. Works for one image at a pop. That's which one did we add? Okay, that'll work. I'll put this example gist up on um, the video description so you can see it there. And then that's all it takes in order to add images to your GitHub gist files. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.